Hello everybody, Bubbles Zest here, and this is Hearts of Iron 4. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Strezzer Front. The thing with this path, however, is it's on two countries. It's on France, and it's on Italy. So, we are going to be going over the two faces of the Strezzer Front. So, let's get started. We're going to form the Poplar Front. Go up to speed 5, and begin. And here he is, Leon Bloom. Now, in case you're curious, the reason we went with Leon Bloom instead of the National Block is because I just felt like it. I haven't done too many runs with them, so why not? Of course, though, it must be said, the National Block is probably the better of the two, especially when you have focuses like Liaise Fair. Anyway, let's quickly make our way down to France Leeds, starting off by reforming the Labour Laws. Finally though, we have made it to France Leeds. The best part about the Spokers is just the extra political power, not gonna lie. We are now going to lay the groundwork for the first part of this is to propose territorial compensation to Italy. So already I'm improving relations with the United Kingdom. Also going to grab a non-aggression pact, and they should say yes. Also may as well preemptively improve relations with Italy. Okay, Baldwin, I think we see eye to eye. So, what do you say? Good. What does Italy say? Perfect. Let's bring this faction together, shall we? By ratifying the Strezza Front. Of course we're going to keep our promises. And we have now guaranteed Austria. In fact, we all have. As the Strezza Front is here. Anyway, we now have to wait for Germany to go after Austria. So, let's work our way down towards the French Union. Oh yeah. I forgot. Because of Ethiopia... The UK is now at war, because Ethiopia still exists. As you can see, Ethiopia is capitulated, but because of the quirks of the BBA changes, this war will never end. I don't know how this got past beta testing, because this should have been noticed. There is no way outside of Ethiopia joining another faction for Italy to win at this point. That's a bit silly if you ask me. And no, I'm not going to join the war. There's no reason for us to do so. We've got our own fish to fry, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is funny. Despite us being allied to Italy, we can still give refuge to Italian scientists. Sure, why not? Okay, at the end of this focus, Germany should be doing Anschluss, so we need to be ready. We're going to go straight through the Maginot. I know, there's level 3 forts here, but Germany doesn't have too many divisions, so we should just be able to push them out of the way. What? Oh no... I did not just see what I think I saw. Yep, Pakistan has just risen up. And you know why? Because the Strezza Front has completely broken the Dominions. Look at them, they're all free. India is free, Malaya is free, Australia is free, they're all free. Forming the Strezza Front somehow broke it. And because India had no way to do the two-nation theory in time, Pakistan has now risen up. Hell, they're also going to lose Burma because of this. So now we have a massive distraction just before Germany is going after Austria. Oh well, it looks like it's just going to be me and Austria who takes on Germany. What? Austria, you blithering idiot! You literally had three majors guaranteeing you, and you still gave in! 
this is the big problem with France's treasure front. It doesn't matter what you do, Austria will always give in. Or to put it more simply, the main upside of the treasure front for France doesn't work. At this point, you might as well have gone with the little entente, because that does everything this does, but better. You can form a big coalition with countries like Poland, Yugoslavia, Romania, Czechoslovakia. You can get rid of one of your most annoying national spirits with foreign guest workers, get rid of full employment, that's good. Pretty much everything the Streza Front does for France, the Little Entente does better. But you know what, before we move on to Italy, let's do the French Union and see what we would have gotten. Indochina says no. Syria said yes. Central Africa said no. West Africa said no. North Africa said yes. So, two out of five. Okay, I suppose. First time in a while we've gotten Syria. But it's time to move on to Italy. Of course, first thing to do right now is to take out Ethiopia. So, let's get to it. In the meanwhile though, just going to be doing focuses like Italian highways and army primacy. Already we're at the gates of Addis Ababa. Good, there will be no government in exile today. There we go, Ethiopia is cracking. And there we go. Took a little longer than I expected, but it's okay. Just gonna take the lot. I want clean borders. Oh, and don't worry guys, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, that did take a bit longer than I would have liked. But whatever, Ethiopia capitulated all the same. We're going to grab preserve army traditions and then we'll get to work. Okay, 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 enough distractions. Let's do the military service information. It's also now time to make the ideal template. You know the one. 21 width. Infantry, infantry, infantry. Artillery, remove the engineers. Saved. I'm going to be spamming out these divisions. I want at least 120 of them. So if you see my unit counter go up throughout this video, this is why I'm doing unit spam. And no surprise, triumph in Africa. Time for some housekeeping. First focus, toppling Amha rulers. Why not? From here, we're going to devaluate the Lira. And like I said, I'm going to take every general that I can, cause why not? And because we have theatre training, any of these new generals could come with brilliant strategist or inflexible strategist. And since some of them also come with terrain traits, that's even better. There we go, that's the housekeeping done. But you know what? We are going to get rid of Mussolini. Yep, we're doing it again. So. Let's slander him, criticise him, question, question, question. And now we can convene the Grand Council again. Oh, and what do you know, Abba's shown up. You just know Paradox added him because he's called Abba. Oh, and what do you know, exactly what I said would happen. Abba came with Desert Fox and Brilliant Strategist. Dare I say, that's brilliant. Right, Mussolini, you know where this is going. Time for you to go. So, now we have three options on who to replace Mussolini with. The left opposition, the right opposition, wait a minute. That's the Soviets, we're not playing them today. It's Balbo, Dino, or the monarchy. And today, we're going with Balbo. Because why not? And yeah, because we got rid of Mussolini, one of his missions immediately failed. And here he is. Hello, Balbo. Our first act with Dino at the helm will be Foreign Affairs. And Balkan Ambition. Finally, at last, we've made it. We can guarantee Austrian independence. I'm sure Austria will be elated. 
Yet again though, time to negotiate some claims. Better improve relations with Britain and France. Also going to try and grab a nag with both of them. While we wait for their answer, let's ratify the stress affront again. And the negotiations are complete. We are going to get control of French Somaliland. France and the UK are getting some off-map sieves. Oh, and we get a load of claims. Okay. Well, you know what? Getting Tunisia and Djibouti, pretty good. You know what? Do I dare puppet Yugoslavia? Oh, why not? Welcome to the club, Hugo. Hopefully we don't lose this puppet like the UK lost theirs last time. So guys, what do you say? Good. We're in. Unfortunately though, just the Allies this time. Not the stressor front. Oh well, can't complain. We don't have long, so let's get into position. Navy. Go to France. Air Force, do the same. And now it's time to plan how we're going to take down Germany. We are going to naval invade Wilhelmshaven and push down. While it might be possible to push through, I'd rather not. There's level 3 forts here, and it's winter. So... Nah, let's just avoid it. So... Four units will go directly to Wilhelmshaven, and we'll have three units on each side supporting the naval invasion. This is not what we normally do, but breaking Germany can be kind of hard, so this is the easiest way I've found to do it. For Austria, we are going to have a defensive strategy. We are going to use our Irregulars and Yugoslavia's divisions to defend them. We're not going to push from Austria, we're just going to hold. That's all they need to do. Well, well, well. Looks like someone is up to something. And we have three ways to respond. We can let Austria fall. We can invoke the power of friendship. Or we do it alone. The thing is though, I don't think there's any actual downside to doing it alone. So that is what we're going to do. What do you say to that, Germany? Oh, how foolish. Right, immediately we are going to send our units into Austria. And of course, we are going to accept their call to arms. Secondly, we're going to call the UK and France, but not Yugoslavia. If we call Yugoslavia in, the independent state of Croatia will spawn, and we cannot have that. So, let's get to work. I currently have the Navy convoy raiding in the North Sea here. Because this is where Germany's fleet is. We are going to destroy it right here. There we go, look at that. Right, let's begin the naval invasion. The plan is quite simple. We're going to encircle Wilhelmshaven and then take it. Also going to break Germany's cipher. I even have max intel. This should be easy enough. No, Germany, there will be no reinforcement. No, 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 no. Come on, already almost there. Just need to break it. Come on. And perfect. We're in. So let's send in everyone. Everyone. Damn. It wasn't one of our ships that sunk Germany's pride of the fleet, but it's good enough. I think Germany's fleet has been destroyed. Look at that, Germany only has 16% war score. In fact, having that little war support means their surrender limit is at 39%. Damn. If you're wondering also why we don't have collabs, it's because we can't have collabs. We're in a democratic faction, so there's just no collabs, I'm afraid. But this... This is a good substitute for collabs. Anyway, as the Spanish Civil War ends, our war is just beginning. The main thing right now is supply hubs and ports. We have to take them. 
There will be no pins. No, 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 no. Look at that. Germany has no more than 73 divisions. Now that we're in, there's no way they can stop us now. Already, three units in circles. Anyway, we're now going to do this focus, which I'm not going to pronounce. We can only do it when we're at war with a major, so now is the time. And there you go, we've cut up Germany around Kiel. Already Germany is pretty much half capitulated. Oh, of course, the German AI moved quicker than me, why wouldn't it? Unfortunately, that will not happen again. Perfect. And Berlin is being besieged. Will Berlin do it? Pretty much. We just need one more tile or something. Look at that. We've not even lost 200,000. But annoyingly, Germany has managed to change its surrender limit. So we have to take a little bit more. Come on. Okay, that's got to do it. Yes! And look at that, we have the majority of the war score. France did literally nothing. They have no war score. Only the UK has any. So you know what? Because I did all of the work, I'm going to take all of Germany. I would puppet them, but I'm in a democratic faction, so I can't. No Britain, it's not gonna happen. Hand over Germany. Good. Now, at this point, I would take Germany's navy, but Germany has no navy left. It looks like we utterly obliterated it. There's nothing left. No screens. No nothing. Germany's navy did not have a good time this game. Right, when I click this button, I predict we will be kicked from the Allies. Well, what do you know? It's almost like we raised world tension or something. But I like the visual of Italy being in two halves. One part Germany, one part Italy. And I think at this point, you understand what I mean when I say there are two faces of the stressor front. The French one makes Britain lose all of their puppets and doesn't even work. Austria will always say yes. But the Italian one does work. It allows an early, easy war with Germany, and you can annex them without problems. Hell, at this point, I'd say we could easily take down the Allies if we tried. Could do paratroopers, could do naval invasions, and so on. We could easily turn this into like a world conquest, Rome, Greater Italy, if we wanted to. So, until next time everybody, I thank you for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed it, and until we meet again, from me, Bubbles Zest. Goodbye.